Del Russo's funeral home originated in the North End in, um, I believe, 1930. But when I was growing up, it was like an Italian ghetto. A lot of buildings were run down, the streets were a mess. Uh, there was a lot of shootings and crime. I never realized that we didn't have it so good because we loved it. Like when, growing up, I, I always I was the youngest, so I always looked up to my brother and my uncle Sal, and I wanted to be just like them. And I became just like them. Started off as a two chair shop. From there, it just started growing and growing and growing. And every year that I've been open, I added another barber chair and added another barber chair. Now we have five chairs. It's not just, that's the guy who cuts my hair. That's my barber shop. That's my barber, you know? Even though I'm not their personal barber, I don't go to their house to cut their hair, but they feel like they're part of my family. And, and I love that, I, I, it's a great family. We don't run with the same crowd. We don't go to the same bars. We don't speak the same. We don't, we don't have anything in common. But when you come to the barber shop, everybody gets along. We've never been as successful as we are now. We were very unsuccessful criminals, but very successful in, in being legitimate people. The girls from our place, very few go to school. At the age of 12, a girl is supposed to marry. Some families still resist sending the girls to schools because of uh, relying more on uh, culture. Because once you're a girl, your place in the society is to make a family, to take care of the husband, to take care of the kids. In most of the communities, I don't think most of them have the courage to go against their parents. <laughs> <laughs> when you get a good grade, you'll go to a good university. But when you fail, you'll be poor, so you'll struggle a lot. You know, some don't work hard because they cannot see light at the end of the tunnel. If I just felt I've lost my way, I could try to think how far I've come. I have two more years in school uh, where I could make my life or destroy it, actually. I just love my parents because they never made me go through what the other girls went through. They hope that we have a better future. You know the world will never change. You are the one who's going to change. Maybe the country, maybe the whole world. I have this quote that drives me. My past will not determine my future. In Kenya you have got a number of freedoms. You are free to express yourself. That is your right. We are bringing the change that we need. It's girls now. And they're going to empower others. They're going to teach their parents. They're going to tell them what is right. And it continues. A revolution starts from the ground. The most powerful. If you want to have a revolution, start from the ground.
My name is Matt Legrand, and I'm a designer. The word design means a lot of different things to a lot of different people. You've got graphic designers and interface designers and web designers and process designers. Design isn't just discrete fields of study, it permeates into everything we do. Everyone is a designer whether they know it or not. When you rearrange your desk or the app icons on your phone or the pots and pans in your kitchen for better efficiency or just to create a pleasing arrangement, you've just become a designer. There are those who self-identify as designers who are very skilled digital artists and illustrators and treat design as the applied version of fine art. And their work can have a substantial impact on culture and society. Then there are designers who create and improve business processes and social services and human interactions. And again, they have a huge impact by creating the environments and physical objects and media platforms that people connect with and shape their lives by. There's this relatively new approach to design where the emphasis is not on the end result, but the process, the theory, the mental toolkit of visual problem solving. And with this framework, design becomes a near bulletproof method of creative solution generation that can be applied to any kind of problem, not just the ones that generally come to mind when people talk about designs. There is no limit to the types of solutions design can create. We can do more than design how the world looks. We can design how the world operates. Pictures of my greatest hero are not in comic books or TV shows. Some can actually be found in my house because my greatest hero is my mother. Ma, you got to see this paper I wrote for English. I got an A plus. An A plus? The best thing about my mother is that she loves me more than anything else in the world. What are you doing? Okay, okay. Hello? Is this Mr. Goldman? Hi, my name is Alexis Brooks, and I'm very hungry. Unfortunately, because you didn't hire my mother, we had to go without the dinner with, for three whole days. <laughs> without my mother, I don't know where I would be. Are you still taking that medication, Michelle? I told you I'm not taking that shit. Are you still having thoughts of suicide? Suicide is when you try to. It's the stress of life, Lexi. The stress of life. Lex, what's wrong? Something happened to you at school? No, I just missed you really. Hey. You got me, and I got you. <laughs> <laughs> 